Hi, my name is Megan and today we will be exploring the Google Explore feature that you can find in three of your Google Suite for Education products. Google Explore is a way to make your time within Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides more efficient and productive. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right hand corner. Here's how to get started with using Google Explore. I have went ahead and created three documents ahead of time so that I could demonstrate what the Explore feature does in each product. We will be looking at the Explore feature in a Google Doc, in a Google Slide, and a Google Sheet. To create these documents, you start from your Google Drive. First, let's jump into looking at a Google Doc. Explore reads what you already have written in your Google Doc and offers suggestions for next steps with research. Once you hit Explore, Google will read your document and as you can see, related information pops up. Images also related to your search are suggested and related research as well. If you don't find what you're looking for in the suggested items off to the right, you always have the option just to search for whichever it is you want it to go next. This allows you to never leave the Google document when continuing to do your research. Notice the three dots. You have the option to change how the citation is recorded into your Google document. Do this ahead of time so that they are all the same. Once you choose to add something into your Google Doc, you just hit the quotes and it will actually insert a citation for the information that you may have used. It's also very easy to add images into your Google Doc just by tapping on the plus and it drops the image down into your doc. You can then resize it and choose to wrap the text if that's what you choose to do. Now we're going to look at how to do the explore feature in a Google slide. Once you are in the Google slide, go ahead and tap on the explore feature. As you can see, I've only added a title. Before adding any images, you have some options right from the very beginning as to what you might want your title screen to look like. If you wanted to add in an image that goes along with your theme, you can do so from the top by going to insert and you can actually search from the web without ever leaving the Google slide deck. Once I find an image that I like, I can tap on it and choose to insert the image. Notice over on the right the options that Google Explore has now given me from my title slide of this presentation. Once again, using Google Explore can make it very easy and very efficient to use the Google Slide product. You continue your search, Google will offer images, and you can choose multiple items to be brought in. Google will continue to offer awesome suggestions off to your right. Beyond adding images, you can also do a Google search right within the Google slide. Type in the topic that you're looking to research and Google will bring in some information that is related. Now let's take a look at how to use Explore within a Google Sheet. Once you have some data within the sheet, go down and click on the Explore option. Explore is a quick and easy way to make sense of the data that is in your spreadsheet. As you select different information, you'll notice that on the right, the charts and the bar graphs and the other options change accordingly. Once you find something that you like, you can stick in the same category by choosing the more option to see what other types type you're looking for. Once you do find something that you're looking for, it's very easy to add this into your presentation just by clicking on the plus button. Selecting the entire spreadsheet will take all of the data and allow you to insert an image that may reflect all of it. Once you pop it in, notice that you can also resize it and move it around as well, making it very easy to give a visual along with the data that you've created. Notice the three dots give you some more options as well once you have inserted a chart or another visual off to the right. That is a quick look at how Google Explore can help you be more efficient within Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google Slides. Thank you for joining for this short tutorial on the Explore feature in Google. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description. 
Thank you and see you next time.